Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophie. If you're new here and if you're not, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a designer handbag collection video and this was something that I've wanted to do for a really long time. I've actually already filmed it a couple times but those never made it on the internet and I really wanted to make this video today for you guys because I've been getting a lot of DMs asking for some advice on your first designer purchase and what bag I would recommend, which brand, which price point, everything like that. So I thought that this would be a really good kind of like two in one video. Like you can see my collection and then I can talk about these bags and all of the bags here have been purchased like collectively all throughout the years. I've been collecting designer handbags since high school. Um, that was always something that was like super special to me and really exciting and um, I would save my money and then buy a designer handbag. So it dates back to those early teen years of mine. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try not to ramble because I have a lot to talk about and everything like that. So let's get started. Okay, so the first brand, I'm gonna try and do it in categories because I find that that will be a lot easier. But the first brand I'm gonna start off with is Louis Vuitton. And this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite Louis Vuitton purchases. This is the Palm Springs mini backpack. I got this in Arizona, I think, oh gosh, it was like quite a few years ago. Um, it was something that I really wanted and it was, I wasn't planning on buying it that day, but I went in the store, I asked if they had it, they had it, and I got it because I was like, this bag is not going to be here for long. If I don't get this now, then I'm never going to get my hands on it. And so I kind of bit the bullet on this bag, but I do not regret that for a second. This has definitely gotten so much use. This is a bag that I will wear, I think, for the rest of my life. I will never get sick of this bag. I'll never be over it. It's been through so much. This bag has been to Coachella, so I think you can kind of understand what this bag has been through. And it's still in amazing condition, and that's why I love it. And I love small bags. You will notice that I don't really have any bags in my collection that are big bags. I like small bags because I don't have a lot of stuff to bring with me. And I just think that they're cuter, they're more practical, they're cheaper. Just everything in that sense. But I don't even know what's inside this bag. I know that there's stuff in here. I can... Oh, there's like 20 bucks. Um, it is a huge bag for the size. You can fit so much stuff in it. And I just love how you can fit everything you need in this bag. Like it holds so much and it's so durable and it can be worn so many different ways with the straps. You can wear it as a backpack or you can change the straps and wear it like crossbody. There's just so many things that you can do with this and I think that that's just so cool and it was so genius of Louis Vuitton to come out with this because this bag is truly like, I honestly it's iconic. I love this bag. I'll never get sick of this. A backpack in my opinion is like always the way to go because it's so practical but really cute. So yeah, the Palm Spring Mini is definitely one of my all-time favorite bags and I'm probably gonna say that about every bag in my collection so I'm sorry in advance but this is like truly such a great purchase so the next two bags that I'm gonna talk about are also from Louis Vuitton and they're not actually mine but I like to think that they're mine because I'm the one that wears them all the time and they are the Louis Vuitton Murakami pochettes and these are actually my mom's she bought them in the store when they first came out, this one, I believe it was the white one, was her very first Louis Vuitton bag she's ever purchased in her life. Um, so that was early 2000s and yeah, so these bags are very, very, very sentimental to her because it kind of showed like that milestone in her life, the early 2000s. I wish I could go back and I wish I was like this age right now in the early 2000s. I just am so fascinated by it and I think the style and everything was so cool and yeah, if I could be Paris Hilton or Jessica Simpson, I would. Um, but yeah, so these are her bags, but I style them all the time because I am obsessed with them. I think that they are so cute and I'm dying for Louis Vuitton to come back with this. I feel like they would absolutely shake <laughs> the world if they came back with the Murakami, but it's discontinued at this point. Um... But yeah, I think that they are so cool. I don't really have much to say about them other than this just reminds me of like early 2000s, me growing up, Jessica Simpson. I love everything about these bags and yeah, they're dope, so. Okay, so the next bag I'm gonna be talking about is a newer purchase and it is the Louis Vuitton pochette and it has the pink strap with this little coin bag that's attached to it and then 
There's a smaller bag out front that's attached and then the larger size. And I think that this bag is freaking genius. I think that Louis Vuitton absolutely killed it with this design. It is so smart. It's so multi-purpose. You are absolutely getting your money with this bag. I think that it is so cool i mean the trend right now of like this crossbody that whole vibe is like it was a bit overdone with like prada and all that kind of stuff not that i'm one to talk because i do have the prada one as well and i love it but i just feel like this bag is so multi-purposed and the way they went about it was really genius like you could use this little coin bag and attach it to your car keys and this is like your little coin bag that you take with you like that has extra change in it or anything like that and then for a night out if you don't want to wear the strap because the straps like a little bit more casual you can unhook right here the smaller bag and then just wear this as a little clutch for a night out like I just think that this is so cool I'm so happy with this bag and all of its purposes i love that as a pink strap i think that that's so cute obviously because i love pink but um yeah this bag was really genius and i feel like if you are on the market to splurge i think that this bag was about twenty two hundred dollars canadian which is pricey for a bag for sure but i think that if you are on the market louis vuitton is the best investment on the planet louis vuitton and chanel i will say it so many times over and over again you will never regret a purchase from louis vuitton or chanel because they are so timeless this monogram print is never going to go out of style it's an investment but you will have this forever like this little bag or even these little bags that i have right here my mom bought those in 2003 or 2000 and i don't know whenever 2004 and they are still in style they are still cool they are still relevant People still love these bags and that's just why I think Louis Vuitton is such a smart investment for your first designer bag because you're really getting your money's worth and it's a piece that you'll have forever. You can pass it down to your kids like this and yeah, I just think that Louis Vuitton is amazing. Um, if there was one brand I could work with, it would definitely be Louis Vuitton or Chanel um, because I just really admire um, their brands and what they've done over the years and yeah. Okay, so the next brand I want to talk to you guys about is Gucci and I have two Gucci bags here that I want to show you guys and they are from um, probably like 2015 I think 20 yeah, probably 2015 um, It was when Gucci rebranded themselves And I think that that was so iconic. They are staple pieces. I'm very happy with the decisions that I made I am happy I didn't go with something a little bit like out there or crazy because they are classics and they're great staples so the first bag I'm going to show you guys is the Gucci Velvet Marmont bag, and this is the small size. Um, I This was the first bag, that, no wait, no, this was the second bag I bought, but I love this bag still to this day. I love that it's velvet. I think that that is so unique and so different. Um, I love gold hardware. Gold hardware is my favorite. I don't own any silver jewelry, so I always find when I get a bag with silver hardware, it's really hard to style because of that fact, so I need to get some silver earrings and stuff like that but I really do love this bag I think that this was really iconic everyone had this bag it was such a great price point and that's one thing about Gucci is if you want to if you want to get a designer bag and are cautious about your budget and all that kind of stuff my two recommendations for you would definitely be Gucci or Prada because I feel like they have very 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 great price points for their bags um I think that that makes that's what made everyone um have these bags is because they were attainable they were affordable for a luxury designer handbag and yeah that's something that i was really happy with and even with the prada bags when they kind of came out with the re-edition bags i was shocked at the price point i thought that that was insane and that's something that's like okay well i have to get it because it is that good of a price point so this is the velvet bag um i got so off topic there but only thing i would say about this bag is if you are on the market for the gucci marmot bag i would get this bag in leather because i always have to dust this bag like right now i always have to dust this bag because it obviously collects dust because it's velvet and right here it has this like 
dust mark and I can't get rid of it so that's just one thing that's like kind of annoying but it is an overall great bag I always use it when I go out for dinner with my friends or something like that like it's just very very durable it can go through anything and um be okay so that's another thing about Gucci too is I feel like their bags are really well made and you never have to like be overly careful with their stuff kind of like Louis Vuitton because their fabrics and their materials are just like really great and the next bag I'm going to show you guys is the I don't even know how to pronounce this bag it's like the Dionysus Dionysus I I'm not even gonna try um I love this bag. This was the first Gucci bag I got from their like revamp that they had and I still love this bag. I would wear this with what I'm wearing right now. These really neutral tones is what brought me in and I loved how it was this tan color and then this type of um, monogram. I just thought that it was so cool. I loved this. I thought it was very like edgy. And yeah, this is a great bag, but the one thing I will say about it is it doesn't really fit a lot inside. It has a very small inside because it's very narrow, so you do have to condense what you're bringing with you, but other than that, I think it's a really cute bag. Other than the size, it's a really great bag. I still love this bag. I'm actually going to bring it on a trip with me because I have tons of pieces that just came in the mail, and I feel like this bag would look perfect paired with those items so I will be styling this very soon for you guys if you are looking at this bag and just don't know how to style it um but yeah I think that it's really cute and let's move on <laughs> I'm gonna get into a little bit of a story time with this next bag because this bag has been through so much it's actually hilarious and every time I look at it I just think of all those memories that came along with this bag and it is the Givenchy Pandora bag and I got this for my 18th birthday actually. Um, so far all of these bags here I have purchased myself other than the two um, Murakami bags because they aren't mine but I just claim them as mine so <laughs> everything has been purchased by myself except for this one so far in the collection but we will talk about that when the time comes. But um. I got this for my 18th birthday. I think it was like under a thousand dollars. It was a really great price point for this bag and the amount of wear and use this bag got is insane. I don't think that you guys would believe how much can be fit in this bag. Um, I would put my makeup in here. I would put my pajamas, my toothbrush if I was going to a friend's house and like we were out at the club that night. Um, I would put so much stuff in this bag and I'd have makeup wipes, everything. It can fit anything and it's really taken a beating, but it still looks like it's in amazing condition because it has that crinkled leather, which I think is so smart if you are someone that's like a little bit careless with your bags, don't wanna worry too much about ruining it, scratching the leather, anything like that. These types of bags are so smart to have. This bag has been through so much. It just makes me smile every time I look at it because I love it. And actually my best friend, Angie, bought it um, fairly recently because she always loved it when I had it and um, she was always so shocked at how much stuff you can fit in it. And so this was kind of like her splurge that she did recently. And yeah, this bag is insane. There's a lot of stuff in here, but <laughs> I'm not going to show you guys what's in here. So the next bag that I'm going to talk about is this YSL bag with the gold hardware. I think that this is a really beautiful bag, but it's one that's in my collection that I hardly ever wear or ever think about. Like I honestly... This is going to sound really bad, but I forget that I have this bag because that's how much I don't wear it. Um, I used to use this bag as like a night out bag when I would go out for dinner or like go out with my friends, even though I literally do not even go out. So that's how rare this bag gets used. But I always think that I should sell it and for some reason I can't get rid of it and I don't know why. But I don't know. It's just like it's not having a moment in my life right now as opposed to all the other ones that I've showed you. Okay, so the next brand I'm going to be talking about is Chanel, and Chanel is one of my all-time favorite brands on this entire planet, and um, to be able to purchase my own Chanel bag was a huge deal, and it was very, very special to me, and it was a point in my life where I was doing this full-time, and it was honestly like, I feel like so many people doubt this job, and it's only now that like people want to get involved with 
fashion blogging, YouTube, all that kind of stuff because they know that there's money involved in it. And this was a time in my life where people still judged like what I was doing. They didn't think it was serious. They didn't think that you could make money off of it. And I still feel like people don't really understand that it to that whole degree, but just to be able to have made enough money to buy this bag and um, kind of reward myself for how hard I was working and kind of reward myself for um, getting to where I was at that time, it just meant so much to me and I feel like that was something that was so huge and honestly I could get emotional thinking about it because this job has been like the craziest time of my life. I feel like it has opened up so many opportunities for me. I've done so many things that I'm so grateful for. I've experienced things that I never thought I was going to experience and I've made friends, like lifelong friends, like genuine friends out of this. Like it's insane. Girls that don't even live in my city is, are my best friends. And the stuff that we're doing is so full circle because I used to sit in my bedroom and like flip through magazines and go on the internet, go on YouTube, watch these girls who are already doing this type of stuff and just like imagine like what it would be like to get there. And not that I'm like where I want to be by any means, but just to be on that path and like do some of the things that I've done even though they're so small they're huge moments in my life and they're huge milestones so to be able to buy this bag was so special to me it is the Chanel Gabrielle um, backpack and I loved this bag because it was two-toned at that point I had so many black bags in my collection that I was really really loving the fact that it was white and black so it was still very neutral it could it could be worn with anything and still be a staple in your wardrobe which is what I loved and I also thought it was so unique how the straps are two tones so this strap is gold and then this strap is silver I thought that, that was amazing because like I said I always wear gold jewelry um, I loved that aspect I loved just everything about it how it was crinkled leather so I didn't have to worry about it too much and it's scratching that was something that like made this purchase so worth it um, honestly every I, I don't even know how to explain it like I it has a huge inside it's red on the inside which I think is beautiful because I genuinely love the color red it doesn't look good on me but I love the color red I admire the color red I always wanted a red bag but I don't wear red so just to have that little like pop of red on the inside I thought that that was like cute but yeah this is such a great backpack it was expensive but in my opinion, it was worth every penny. It's something that I will have forever. It's a backpack, but it could also be worn as like a crossbody bag or a bucket bag. You can like adjust the straps. So let me just show you. <laughs> so the straps that are supposed to be a backpack could go like that and you could wear it like a crossbody. You can really do anything with this bag, which I also thought was very unique and very cool. Like no one had a bag like this at that point um so yeah this bag just is very special to me and um it's beautiful and I always smile looking at it but I don't like to travel with it anymore and that's like the one thing is just because since I have worn it to death I've worn it so many times you can see on the back it has like that huge crease I don't like to travel with it anymore for that reason because I just don't want it to get destroyed so um, yeah, I don't travel with it as much anymore, but I still love this bag with all my heart, and, um, yeah, this is my Chanel Gabrielle. So my second Chanel purchase is this Chanel backpack. I do not know what the name of this bag is, but I saw this bag, and if you know me, you know anything that's pink already has me. Like, if it's pink, and if it's Chanel to begin with, oh my gosh, like, there's no talking me out of that. I love this backpack. I think that it is so cute. I mean, it's not a bag that you can wear all year round because of the bold color, but spring, summer, it's the perfect backpack. I love that it's a backpack for one because it just makes it so much more wearable and realistic for my own life. Um, this bag is beautiful. I don't really have much to say about it because I feel like I've been talking so much. But um, it has a really big inside. You can fit so much in it as well, even though it looks like it's very small. But um, yeah, I just think that this bag is beautiful. The color is like very striking. It's something that like you look at and you're like, oh wow, yeah, like that's like a cool color. Um, 
but yeah it's definitely a statement and it's the first bag or maybe it's the second bag that I've ever purchased that was like, okay, yeah, that is like a statement bag. That is something that you can't wear with everything in your wardrobe, but when you can wear it, you can wear it. So this bag is my Chanel backpack. I got this in the summertime and yeah. Okay, so with my next bag, we're gonna go down memory lane one more time. Um, this is my Celine Nano and there's a whole bunch of change at the bottom of this bag. So I'm gonna try not to move it because that could be really annoying. But um, this is the Celine Nano and this bag, along with the Givenchy bag, this bag has so much sentimental value to it um, and the Chanel Gabrielle bag. Those are my three bags in my collection that mean the most to me personally. Um, this bag I got for my, so I got this bag as a birthday, Christmas, and graduation gift. It was kind of like a three-in-one. So that year for my birthday, I didn't get anything. That year for Christmas, I didn't get anything. And then for graduation, I finally got the bag. So it was a three-in-one. Um, I had wanted this bag so badly. Everyone had this bag at that point, like Madison Beer, Kendall, Kylie, everybody had this bag. And every time I saw it, I was like, that is the coolest bag on the planet. I think that the structure of it is very cool. I loved how there was a top handle, but then there was the cross body strap that is tucked in the bag at the moment. But um, yeah, I absolutely love this bag. I think that it is amazing. Um, it meant so much to receive this bag because that was a certain point in my life in high school where my style was so different and I was trying to figure out what that was and what I wanted to do and who I wanted to be and how I wanted to dress and I feel like this bag really kind of um, helped me figure out my own personal style. So this means a lot to me. Okay, so my camera's about to die and I'm not done yet, so I'm gonna try and go really fast. But this is a also a recent purchase. This is the Prada Re-Edition bag. And every time I post about this bag, I get an overwhelming amount of messages on where to get it, how to get it, what's it called, all of the above. It's the one with the crossbody strap and they have two styles. They have the top handle style and then they have this style that they came out with. And they are all called the Re-Edition, which is super confusing, but um, I purchased this bag in store. It can only be purchased in store. It's not online, which also makes it really difficult. Um, but yeah, I got this bag in November and I just love how Prada reinvented their brand this fall. I loved the Prada boots that I got and I just fell in love with them. I fell in love with everything that Prada did. They really made moves in fashion this this season and um, this was like a really good bag and a really good purchase and it can be worn so many different ways because you can take off the strap Just like kind of the Louis Vuitton one the pochette and then you can wear it as a Little clutch for a night out bag or if you're just not feeling the strap. I think that this was Genius on their part like such a good bag. It was a really good price point as well It was 15 Canadian and then the ones that are just like this with the top handle I think are about eight which is an unbelievable price. I don't know how you could anyone could pass up on that price point for their first designer purchase. If you guys are out on the market, definitely go look at Prada right now. This is actually a material that's made out of the same material as parachutes, so it will never get destroyed. You can throw it, drive over it, can do anything to this bag and it won't get ruined. So yeah, this bag is a huge staple of mine. I'm still wearing it every day. Um, yeah, it's just amazing and I love it. Okay, so this next bag here is the Chloe Fay bag and I remember when I got this bag I was so in love with the color of it and I still am in love with the color of it. I think it's so unique I don't have anything like this. I've never seen anything. That's this color. I just thought it was so unique and it really is but the one thing about this bag that I have to say is it's just not practical for my lifestyle like I've mentioned before um, I do like smaller bags just because I never have that much stuff to bring with me and I don't like carrying around big bags for some reason it's just how I am I don't find myself ever wearing this bag because of that reason and I just don't really know if it's my style um, my mom wears this bag all the time so it's kind of nice because like I'll buy a bag or my sister will buy a bag or my mom will buy a bag and we'll just like all share like it really like we're so good about that kind of stuff um and like this is clearly more her style um she loves big bags she has so much stuff with her at all times in her purse this is just a really great bag for her 
this did come in a backpack version and a small version which i think would have been way better and i just remember I always wish I would have gotten that size just because it was so practical and it was crossbody or even the backpack. The backpack was so cute. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing I have to say about this bag, but um, it's something that I can't get rid of for some reason and just it's really beautiful, the color, and hopefully one day I'll be able to wear this or style this. Okay, so that is it for my designer handbag collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.